This is Stuff You Like, you can call me Ursa, and you know what I really love? Free stuff. I like free things like the Bain Free Library, and Twitter, and Air, and also our chosen medium for the day, the webcomic. Man, I love webcomics. Webcomics are one of the examples of things which make the internet great, because back in the day, if you wanted to know whether you liked a comic or not, you either had to find someone to borrow it from, or you had to buy it. And then if you did buy it, and you didn't like it, well, tough luck for you, Missy, you'll just have to not buy any more of them. Incidentally, this is one of those super lazy things which isn't even like a top 10 or 15 or 11 or 9 or whatever, you can't make me choose. I'm not going to rank them, I'm just gonna tell you about all of them. So if you were expecting analysis, yeah, I would wait till the next episode. So, in list form, this is my top whatever webcomics. Some of the oatmeal I don't really get, but some of it is pure joy. Like, why I believe printers were sent from hell to make us miserable, and 10 words you really need to stop misspelling. It's like stand-up comedy, but in comic form, and it's great. I would love and recommend Darth and Droids to anyone who likes D&D or Star Wars, but, you know, we did talk about it not very long ago, so uh, we'll leave that one be. XKCD describes itself as a webcomic of romance, sarcasm, math, and language, was created by Randall Monroe, and is horribly interesting. As a collector of useless pieces of random trivia, and not even the kind that make you good at pub quizzes, I love XKCD. There are arcs scattered through the comics, my favourite is Black Hat Man, I think, but Honestly, usually I just hit random and see where I go. Some of my favourite strips, Dreams, Exploits of a Mom, Nerd Sniping, and A Bunch of Rocks. Order of the Stick is the first webcomic I ever read all the way through, although it's not actually complete yet, so I guess I still haven't read it all the way through. Never mind. It is like a shocking number of the comics I read, based on Dungeons and Dragons, but when I started to read it, I'd never played a game of D&D in my life. The main plot centres around Roy, Fighter, leader, and possessor of way too high an int score for his class, really. His dad's mentor was killed by a wizard named Zykon, who is now a lich, his dad swore vengeance, Roy has reluctantly taken up said vengeful mantle after his dad's death, and also Zykon is trying to take over the universe. And it's amazing. You've got Haley, red-headed rogue and lover of all things gold and sparkly, Belkar, definitely chaotic evil, what is he doing in this party, but a handyman to have around in a crisis, and a sexy shoeless god of war. Apparently. You have Varsuvius, elf wizard of indeterminate gender, who really dislikes Belkar, and the feeling is mutual. You have Durkon, lawful good, cleric, excellent man with a healing spell, and you have Alan, the chick. I mean the bard. No, I mean the chick. It's impossible not to love Alan, though, mostly due to his insanely high charisma score. They have adventures and subplots and character arcs, and it's great. And in addition to the main comic, there are also books that you can buy couple of which I have. My favourite strip in Order of the Stick is the strip which I saw in someone's signature on a forum and it's the one that got me to read it in the first place. I prepared explosive runes this morning. There are many other strips in the comics which are better, too many to count in fact, but I have a big soft spot for that one because that's how I got into it. Digger. It's black and white, it's gorgeous, it's got wombats and demons and gods and I laughed and I sobbed and it was just glorious. This one's probably the most distinct of the comics I've talked about. All of the rest of them, including XKCD, have some kind of pop culture or fandom reference or basis. Star Wars, D&D, Phantom of the Opera, Summer Glow. Digger has none of these things, is completely self-contained, and is still beautiful. Also, it is complete, so if completeness is your jam, you should probably start with this one. It's also the most plotty, and I think the word I'm looking for is consistent? Digger is a single story about a single character, that being our eponymous Wombat, and that story winds its way through the books. It's good for any reader because it doesn't require you to have knowledge of anything else to read it. There are no jokes you miss because you haven't seen that episode or read that book, it's totally standalone. Plus, Digger is a wonderful, wonderful protagonist. Also Ed. You will love Ed. Actually, just all of the characters. You will love them all. Also, you will laugh a lot and probably cry because feelings all of the feelings, why are we having feelings, why was I made to feel pain? And telling you my favourites would probably ruin the surprises, so 
yeah. Last but not least, Girls Next Door, which I talked about way back in episode 38, wow, takes all my favourite things and smushes them together, coupled with giving me new insight into characters I previously didn't think much about. So you take Christine Daae and Raoul and the Phantom and Jareth and Sarah Williams, but also characters like Norrington from Pirates of the Caribbean and Jadis from the Chronicles of Narnia, though admittedly she's mostly in there. I've previously described Girls Next Door as Jareth's hero's journey, and that's true, but that's not what it's about. It's about Sarah and Christine, and about stalking not being sexy, and about taking control of your own life. If you're into fandom at all, try it out. My favourite strips are anything in colour, uh, the Labyrinth party arc, and of course anything featuring Aziraphale and Crowley, particularly number 55. I started on my belly in the dust. Remember, Angel? The gutter is a step up. Stupid comics making me grin like an idiot in public. Regardless, archive binging on any one of those will take you a while, so best get to it. Sorry not sorry for destroying your productivity for the next few weeks. Happy reading!